everybody, Sam here. This video was made for my other YouTube channel, just like we did before, but it is about this business and it's the next step in launching the subscription service. And also I look like this because I'm a mom and there's battle bots and Chick-fil-A and all kinds of things happening here. And yes, I shouldn't go to Chick-fil-A, but look, like, I have a kid. Like, leave me alone. I can, I'm only one woman. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, I'm a Girl Forge enthusiast, and um, I'm the CEO of a small cannabis business. Right now, we have big dreams to one day have a grow, have a product line, but we're still in the like, you know, research and advocacy uh, lane of things. But uh, if you followed us in our last video, if you haven't watched it, go back or don't live your life. But that's the first half of this video where we did the first rendition of the um, prototype. And again, this is prototype for dummies. So I'm gonna take you through the whole process of all the mistakes we made. And the last time the box wasn't even the right size. So we are back with version numero dos. Mind you, still not the final thing. Now, one thing that we did differently is I designed this prototype to just literally give us an idea of the size, not necessarily the weight. So I ended up making this out of a black acrylic. And the way, the reason I did that was because if we're gonna go out and show this to people, um, I was doing some research today. If my eyes seem a little bit red, um, I'm very committed to the quality and, and the success. <laughs> Stop laughing, Colin. <laughs> and of this in uh, enterprise. Anyway, um, fuck. Okay, I started by using black acrylic because I wanted something that I could pass around to show people, you know, to show investors. Or if you're an investor right now, you just like jump first in line. We're looking for people to partner with us. Um, anyway, uh, something that could be passed around and not get beaten up. Like the, the cardboard that we're gonna be actually used for these are going to be very, very simple, economical, things like this. But for this purposes, we made sure that we did the acrylic box in the right size using the correct dimensions. Who knew? Who knew if you do things right, things work out better. So I made it out of acrylic, I took it out, I taped it together with washi tape just to hold it and then I hot glued um, my whole soul into that thing <laughs> um, just to make sure that it was gonna stay together and then I actually just went to a garage sale and found this le faux leather contact paper and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna do things. And I craft hoarded and I coated this box um, in that material. And I'm really happy with the way that it looked. It just gave it this like kind of finished. Now, mind you, if I would have tried harder and did better and was better and smarter, um, I would have cut it in a way that made sense and didn't make it as lumpy, but it was just so many steps. I hated it, okay? And so I just did the best that I could. I didn't do the best I could. I did the most as best I could that would still teach you the content that you want to know and also accomplish the things with doing as little work as possible because I'm busy. I don't have a job. I have things. I have a kid. Um, this is why I shouldn't test product before I do these videos. Second step, well, after I coded it, wait, what was the second step? Oh, we made the box. We made a box inside. So that box was done. We did it. It was great. I feel really happy about it. Now there was a pre-roll box that was going to hold three wonderful uh, Texas hemp or not Texas hemp, Texas THCA um, cannabis pre-rolls that we are working on. And so this was honestly a big fight. Oh, no. Okay. We need to do it again, but you got to turn the paper over. Why? You got to do it again, but because... It's telling me to it's do it. It's inside out? It's telling me to do it like this. Well, fold it to make sure before I do anything. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Because we were trying to figure this out and we wanted, there was a service. If you're gonna do this, just go online and buy. I'll put the service. Hello, you guys, uh, you know, buy their box template. You can put in your dimensions. They'll give you all the things. You can specialize the tabs because we just kind of looked at their um, thing and said, oh, we can measure lines. We can make a box and a box we made Correct, it was not. But I wanted to prove that you can cut out chipboard with the Glowforge and make a box that's sturdy enough for gifts or things like that because you could make a really cool custom box if you are detail oriented and you have a design you want or you could just buy one of these templates and engrave, you could engrave holes into that box. Imagine if you were like an artist, you did a custom uh, like tarot deck. You could literally buy the chipboard that you like and cut holes in it so you have like peep holes through it. There are lots of really cool things you can do, but for the purposes of this, I just want to show you can make a freaking goddamn box. And so there's fucking box. I don't want to do it anymore. The ones that we're going to have, we're going to order someone else to make. Congratulations. Here's YouTube tutorial, but pay someone else to do it better than we could. 
Okay, anyway, but this is how it all came together. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through. Um, by the way, I will say too, it was really cool with my uh, decorative paper that I cut in the Glowforge. This is like scrapbooking paper. Um, I didn't need magnets and it didn't fly away. So who knew? Is that helpful information? Should I even talk anymore? Did I tell you the settings I cut the acrylic? It's my acrylic stubborn setting. It works every time. 130 speed, full power, two passes, but you might not have the same machine as me. I bought mine on Kickstarter and I have the basic. I wish I would have bought a pro. By the way, did I mention you can save $500 on a pro model if you use my code, Sam can do. Um, support a wonderful small business. Okay, anyway, so when you open it up, ah, I just love it so much already. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm excited. Here's a sleeve, it has a sticker on it. I printed it at my house. Look, idiots run the world. You can be those idiots. You can start businesses, you can do anything, you put it on a sticker, you figure out how to do things. You guys, like this stupid channel, like made me money. Can you believe that? Doing this, you're here. I mean, I don't know why. Okay, anyway, uh, it says right here, I embrace myself in radical acceptance. This is something that you're meant to use when you medicate. We're trying to show that this can be more than just like a drug. It's something, it's like your chamomile tea. It can be ritualistic, it can be beautiful. You know, you could have a glass of wine and not a four loco. We're trying to, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to rebrand has some beautiful breathe in, breathe out meditations, and then it finalizes with the look in, let go, light up, which I made up one day and I feel really great about it. Here's a pre-roll box we made. Breathe in, stress out. Um, Colin, where's, it seems like this is empty. There was an emergency situation. <laughs> <laughs> they were we just keep just on coming up to these emergency situations. I think we need more, more. Uh, they needed for the B-roll shot. Yes, and then inside the box, which will next time fit, like we're, we can have a custom thing fit, the 10 gummies that um, our customers will get, which will be wonderful and possibly maybe even an extra free gift. But you're gonna have to wait. You don't get everything here. You don't get to know everything. There might be something else. Anyway, um, this is how the box came out. And you know what? I, I'm really, it's been really nice to be forging again. That's all I can say. It's really cool to see something that you can dream about and have it. And then we also like put it inside a mailer. We were able to confirm that yes, we can send this out in the mailer that we were hoping. Um, and now it's just to go into production, you know, the find a, a maker who can do the actual mass production of our chipboard boxes and get weights and continue on with the project. Anyway, I really hope that this is fun. Please let me know down below any feedback. Is this helpful? Is this not helpful? Do you want more information about this business? Do you hate this type of content? Um, how can I help you and your business? What are your problems that you have on your Glowforge? The more comments you leave just gives me inspiration on what videos to make for you. So I know I'm just getting back into it, but I really appreciate you guys. And again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at sam.can.do. You can DM me. I respond to all of my messages. Sometimes if you're asking me to do stuff, um, if I don't respond, if I don't know, anyway, I'm feeling anxiety because of the way that I respond to people now. I'm going to start again. I respond to my Instagram messages all the time. You can reach me there every single day. Comments on here as well. And I also am on TikTok, but you don't have to go there. It's really, it's a cringe place. If you're not there already, don't go. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Like it's right. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. Why not? It's free and it would be nice and I would be happy. Don't you want to make people happy? Sorry, I don't know what he said. If he tells me to say this and I don't know how to do it. I'm really bad at being, um, good job. <laughs> okay. Oh.